Hi guys, it's Roy from Bellados 3D here again with part four of my Blender to Unity modular wall series. In the previous videos, we went through the process of creating a trim sheet type texture, creating a, a plain wall, a wall with a window, and a wall with a door frame. And in this video, I will be taking you through the process of creating the corner pieces. So without much more ado, Let's get to modeling. Okay, so here we are in Blender and we have our wall blend file loaded in with our walls from the previous episodes and our little man as a guide here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide these three pieces for now. We don't need them for this episode. And I'm going to take a copy of this wall piece by pressing Shift and D and then right clicking to snap it in position. Now if I press Shift and H right now, that hides everything except the item that you have highlighted in your scene. So we now have a wall piece and I'm just gonna quickly press Alt and G and I'm gonna recenter that to the center of the uh, scene there. Right, so what are we doing in this episode? We're creating the corner pieces and for that we're gonna be two pieces. We're going to need an external piece and an internal piece. And the reason for that, as stated before in previous videos, we want to be able to create walls with separate textures on either side. So to do that, we'll need internal and external pieces. So first things first, let's duplicate this wall again. Press Shift and D and right click to snap it back into position. And then I need to rotate it by the R key on the Z axis with the Z and 90 enter and there we have our wall around at the right angle problem is it's at the wrong orientation it's facing in we want it facing out so simply we press s to scale and we want to scale on the x-axis with the x button and then we want to scale at minus one and that flips it over to the other side but we do have one problem with this uh, when we um, scale like that if I was to apply, if, if I was to open the menu at the side here, you'll see that the rotation is minus one. Um, the scale, sorry, is minus one. The rotation is set at 90. We want these at zero and we want these at one. So what do we do? We press control and A and then select rotation and scale. But the only problem with this now, as you can see, the face orientation is round the wrong way because we scaled it at minus one. We basically turned it inside out. So what we need to do now is go into edit mode, press A to select everything, press shift and N, and that resets the um, uh, orientation of the faces. However, with this large face here, it doesn't know what the correct orientation is. So we select that one individually by pressing three to go into face mode and selecting the face. And we can then press Alt and N and then select flip and that flips that round now we have the correct orientation we want all of the textures on the outside we want nothing on the inside okay so now that we've got our pieces in position what we need to do is we need to make sure that they join at this edge as you can see there's a bit of a gap there so what we need to do is to bring this side along to the x and this side along to the y and then marry up the vertices on the skirting board and the coving. And the way I'm gonna do that is by selecting both pieces, going into edit mode with tab, and then making sure I'm in edge mode with two on the keyboard, and making sure that my snapping mode up here is in edge mode. I'm gonna select this edge, and I'm press G and Y, and then I'm gonna hover over this edge and press control, and that brings that forward to line up with that piece there. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side, G, X, and Control. And now we have our edges together perfectly. Now, you might look at that and go, whoa, hold on. What about stretching of textures? We're deforming the mesh after we've unwrapped it. And to be quite honest, my response to that is, so what? And the reason my response is, so what, is simply because the distance that we have moved these edges out of the mesh is such a small amount. As you can see, it really doesn't seem to matter with the texture. It still looks good. 
and there's just not a lot of stretching on there. So the simple rule of thumb here, if it's tiny little tweaks, don't worry about the UV mapping and stretching textures. It's not worth all the hassle of trying to get them perfect textures. Just move it and see how it looks. So let's go back into the model. And now we have to join up these two pieces up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into face mode. I'm going to select these two faces. I'm going to press H to hide them. Um, get rid of them for now so that we can just focus on these pieces. And if I select one of these faces and zoom in, then we can actually orient around that corner piece. And now that I have that highlighted, I can see that these four pieces here and the same four pieces on this piece are going to be inside the mesh because what we want to do is we want to bring these out so that they're at a 45 degree angle. And if these are at a 45 degree angle, they'll be flush against each other, you won't see them. So let's delete them. They're behind the mesh, we don't need them. And then what we're gonna do is we wanna bring all of these edges here forward on the Y axis to correspond with, with these edges over here, and vice versa, all these edges over here along the X axis to correspond with these edges here. And it couldn't be simpler. So let's, go up to our snapping tool here and we're going to change that to vertex snap okay and then we're going to change our mode to vertex mode and i'm going to press alt and z so that i've got x-ray so i can select things through the mesh i'm going to select these top vertices and i'm going to bring them forward gy in line with that piece there. And then if I select the same ones on this side and G, X and press control and hold it, there we have it all joined together perfectly well. And we'll do the same on this piece here, G, Y to this piece here, whoops, to this, this vertex here, and then select those, G, X to this vertex here, and again down the bottom, GY to this vertex here and this piece here GX to that vertex here now we're down the bottom this gets a little bit more tricky so let's select all these pieces and instead of trying to find the correct vertex on there to correspond with I know it's going to correspond with the middle vertex right here so let's GY and hover over the middle vertex and press control and that brings that forward so. And then the same with this piece, G, Y, G, X, and control to bring it across. Now we just need to snap these pieces together. So let's select those three, and we're gonna snap them to this piece here, G, Y, and control. And again, these three here, G, X, and control. And there we have our coving perfectly snapped together. And I'm gonna do the same on the skirting board, but I'm gonna fast forward for this because you don't want me sitting here going, GY, GX, snap, control, GY, GY, X, snap, control, because it's boring. So let's speed it up. Right, so as you can see, it's all joined together now and it's all perfect right angles and 45 degree angles on the corners there. Just how we need it. One last thing to do on this specific model and it's quite simple, let's join it together. So first things first, I want to take into mind where the orientation of the origin point is and let's see where it is on both pieces now in this case it doesn't matter because it's right there on both pieces because i turned this piece inside out i didn't move the origin so it's right there in the corner now if i'd have done it another way i might have ended up with the origin on this side on one piece and this side on one piece and what we want to do is we want to make sure that the origin is at the corner where it's going to be pivoting and at the moment it's in the exact right position so i don't need to actually change it at all so let's just shift 
and click both pieces and press Control J to join them. They're now one mesh. So if I go into edit mode and all unhide everything, it's all there. Now what I want to do is select everything and press M and I want to merge all of the vertices that are touching. So I'll select by distance. And as you can see, 18 vertices, 18 vertices along this edge have been joined together. And if we take it out of edit mode into object mode, I'm just gonna make sure the X-ray is turned off just so it doesn't interfere with the mesh. You can see it's all joined up perfectly. And if I was to select it and I was to rotate on the Z axis, it rotates perfectly around that pivot point. So now what we want to do is we want to create the inner walls. So to start with, I'm just going to quickly rename this piece from wall 002 to wall corner underscore outer. I'm going to hide that from the view. I'm going to bring back my wall piece. I'm going to select it and shift D to duplicate it and shift H to hide everything but the duplicate. And then if I press Alt and a G, that will return that origin point to the center. Just makes it a bit easier for me to use. Now I want this flipped onto this side of the X axis. So as we did before, S, Y minus one, and that brings that over to the other side of the X axis, like so. Obviously, if I press Control and A, as you can see, it's flipped the normals. So we're going to edit mode, select everything, press Shift and N, and that will be most of the normals in the right direction. We just have to go into face mode, select this piece here, Alt N and flip. And now we have all in the right direction. So let's duplicate this again. And I'm going to RZ minus 90. Bring it over to that side. And as you can see, I now need to press G and Y2 to bring it over to the correct orientation with the other model. And that's all perfect with the normals in the right positions. But we have overlap. So again, we have to bring this all in closer um, so that it's joined in the corners. And again, exactly the same techniques as before. I won't be going through this step by step. I will give you a quick run through in time lapse. Okay, brief interruption on the uh, time lapse here. Just a quick heads up when you're bringing these in, because they're the inverse of the outside edges. Um, whereas before we would have snapped to the edge vertice, on these we'll be snapping to the center vertice. So if I was to select these pieces here and then go over here and hover over this center vertex, and press G, X, and Control, and then select these vertices and do the same on this side. If I can get there, there we go, bit of rotation there. G, Y, and snap over the center vertice like so. As you can see, that gives you a much more accurate snapping there for this piece. So let's get back to the time lapse. And again, with these bottom pieces, we're going to have to manually do each of the individual ones just to get them right. So let's select this one and do GY, bring it forward, and GX to there. And we'll select these two 
GY. And again, GX, like so. GY. And G to there. And as you can see, we're not going to need this face here. So let's press 3 and select these two faces. XF. Back to vertex mode with 1. And GY. And G. And for some reason, that vertex seems to have disappeared. Very interesting. Ah, oh, there is. <laughs> and G to there. And as you can see, it's all joined together like so. So, back to the time lapse. Okay, that's all our vertices moved into the correct positions. So now in object mode, select both items. And this is where the origin point is important. You notice because I've selected this piece last, it's highlighted. You'll notice the origin point is at this end. We don't need it at this end, we need it at this end. So if I was to select this piece first and then shift select this piece last, the origin point will be there. And if I press control J now, the origin point will stay at that point now right so let's go into edit mode alt h select everything and m by distance merge by distance and that merges all the vertices along the edge there and we have our inner wall and again in object mode rz it rotates around that pivot point and if i was to bring back the corner piece on the outside you'll notice that again it fits perfectly inside this piece. And if I was to bring back the wall piece right now, and I was to move that along GX4 to there, these pieces would line up on the outside, but if I wanted to put a piece on the inside, Shift D, RZ180, and GX2, and they line up perfectly. And they're all pivoting around the same origin point, and lining up perfectly so that's the end of today's video a quick delve into corners of modular assets and how easy it is to put them together it's a little bit fiddly merging up the vertices but as you can see it all looks really nice and really well done and i can change this piece here for example i can switch the material and let's see if i've got a different material yes i can switch that to that material there and again, this one to that material. And as you can see, I've got a nice plaster on the outside and brickwork on the inside. And it's all lined up perfectly. It looks really nice. So thank you very much for joining me. If you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Tell your friends, share on social media. It all helps with the algorithm and all helps to see the channel grow. And if you want to be notified whenever I uh, drop a new video online, hit that no notification bell. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video where I will be putting all of these into Unity and making up a small scene.